high carty high running. So let's keep going on with the same example as in the previous video. However, this time uh, I will change some parameter and we will see what's the influence of this parameter. So the simulink model of uh, the system is like this. And the first thing we will do is to change rho. And don't, don't forget that rho should be better, uh, greater sorry, than L. Here is when rho and C are chosen like in the pre previous video. So if we change rho to 0.8, uh, we see that the system is not very stable. It's oscillate between uh, the two states, x1 and x2, they oscillate around zero. And if it goes uh, very, very small, it oscillates for sure, so it's not stable. However, there's no chattering in the control rho. If you put rho very big, of course it's stable, it reaches the stability very fast, but the chattering is just, is just gigantic and you cannot do anything. Now let's change C and watch uh, how it influences uh, the system. So when C is very small, we still reach stability, but not zero exactly, as you can see on X1 and X2. If C becomes negative, the system becomes uh, unstable. If it becomes zero, uh, with this example, it reach stability, uh, but uh, normally it's asymptotic stability, which means oscillation. And if it's big, um, we have like uh, on X2 especially, we have a, a change. It's accelerate and it goes down. And if we change again uh, rho this time to make it match C, we can see that uh, it reach a better stability, even though there's chattering. So they influence each other. And what I would like to do is to plot the face portrait. When C is uh, positive or it, it's stable, or when C is equal to zero, all the phase reach uh, the uh, real axis without reaching the origin, which means it's not uh, completely stable. It's not stable, actually. And when it's um, negative, we reach this uh, unstable phase plane. If you have a good memory in some book, like Sliding Mode Control in Engineering, at some page you can find that the same picture of the phase plane. Thus, I just wanted to show you what are the parameters and uh, how they influence on each other. I choose a different uh, C and Rho. I also choose different um, initial condition to show you how it changed, uh, how it evolves a long time. But uh, according to C, the value of C, they all reach the sliding surface and uh, the origin. I hope it helps a bit. And uh, let's keep on, let's keep going on.